Chelsea, while well, the Mid-South Food Bank plans to feed 5,000 people today at the Mid-South Coliseum. It is the food bank's largest one day giveaway in its four decades of service. Jalen is live from the event they are preparing now. All of the boxes I see set up and ready to go, Jalen. Yeah, Aaron, look at this. Look at all this food. I mean, it goes like just feet above my head. And actually, this doesn't even touch the surface of how much food they're going to be giving out today. Over 800,000 pounds of food are expected to be handed out to people in need. So this event is not only about feeding people. It's also about raising awareness about food insecurity here in the Mid-South. The food bank says about 15% of people living in the Mid-South are suffering from food insecurity. But they have a ton of food that they are preparing to hand out. They've been unloading these boxes of food all morning long. I just give you a look at just one of the rows that cars will be going through this morning to pick up some of that food. Now, it is important to know that um, there are some requirements about when this event begins here this morning at 9. Now, the Mid-South Food Bank has, for the last month, been trying to get people pre-registered for this event because they're expecting to feed, you know, 5,000, maybe even upwards of 8,000 people today. So if you did not pre-register, it's okay. This is technically is still a first-come, first-serve event. Again, just some requirements. You're going to have to be in a car. This is a drive-up food giveaway only. They're not taking walk-ups as well as you're going to have to have an ID or a bill, some sort of proof of Tennessee uh, residency because this is restricted to just Tennessee residents and that's because it's the funding of this comes from the state of Tennessee that provided all this food. Now, another requirement is that they just really want to ensure that this food gets to the hands of the people that need it the most. So you will have to um, be a household that is underneath the uh, living underneath the poverty food uh, line as well as you know maybe qualifying for a benefit such as snap or uh, public housing again that's just to ensure that people that need it the most do get it but they're going to have a drive-through system we've already seen a lot of cars lined up out on southern going on to hollywood where that line will begin it just really shows the need of uh, food insecurity here in the mid-south on top of getting food again every household that is actually leaving today will get over 100 pounds of food but on top of food, they also have the Bear Needs Diaper Bank here, so families can get diapers, baby wipes. They're just trying to get all that essential produce, family, household items that they need. Again, starts at 9 here today. It goes until 3.30 in the afternoon. Aaron. Wow, Jalen, already lining up, and the start is not for a couple of hours. Well, the food bank says more than 15% of people in the Mid-South are food insecure, so just goes to show the need.